Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hide, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hide. Welcome back to Baseball Hut 2, and hopefully you like this video, and hit that subscribe button. So you want rumors? I'm going to give you some rumors. We got rumors for the next month on this channel, so you want to watch uh, a channel that has, it'll give you all the rumors online, I'll get them for, to you for you. This rumor, I don't think this is much of a rumor, considering that the New York Mets are playing actually better than anybody else but this is done from a, a phillies fan phillies writer i guess he doesn't pay attention i guess the things uh north of philly i guess i don't know but this is from si.com headline philadelphia phillies linked to possible national league east trade with the mets the philadelphia phillies and new york mets come together in a trade before the deadline i would say no no i would say no Let's get into this. The Philadelphia Phillies have been linked to pursuing outfield help ahead of the MLB trade deadline next month. That is something that has remained consistent in each report that has come out about their potential trade deadline plans. Plenty of potential options have been suggested for the Phillies, but a new name, a new contender, is coming up as a possible target. Uh, in order to acquire this name, Philly would have to work out a deal with the National League East division rival New York Mets. Player that would be a centerpiece of a trade would be veteran outfielder Harrison Bader. The police report suggests that Bader is a potential trade target in their latest article about who the Phillies could target. Well, then the police report's not paying attention. This is how bad stories get out there, folks. You, you know, one writer says something dumb, and then they all parrot it, pretending like it makes sense. Oh, the Mets have, are above 500. They are in the running for the last wild card spot. And they're four games behind the leading the number one wild card, and that's the Braves. The 30-year-old is a former Gold Glove winner in center field, and he is also posting up strong offensive numbers, hitting 272 with a 319 on base percentage, a 404 uh, slugging percentage for an OPS of 110 with 18 extra base hits, 11 steals, and a 1.5 wins above replacement in 68 games. He would not be as flashy as of an addition as the next two guys on this list but he likely won't cost more than a mid-level prospect or two and would still be a solid upgrade of the current in-house options. After Beta, both Jazz Chisholm and Luis Robert Jr. were listed as possible targets. Beta would certainly be the cheaper option if Philadelphia doesn't want to spend too much. He would come at a cheap price tag. Who says it? The Mets are in the middle of it, and he's played great. And would still be able to make on an impact. During the 2024 MLB season, Bader has hit 275 with a 321 batting at a, a slugging a on base percentage, 422 to go along with his six homers, 30 RBIs. Those numbers aren't huge, but they would be perfect in a, a depth role. He's been playing every day. Okay? He's been pretty much playing every day. He's been playing at least two thirds of the games for the Mets, if not every day. And he's been playing great defense. And he's been getting a lot of big hits for the Mets when, you know, when and he's been very consistent in terms of his offense. When for you know for the first two months the Mets were very inconsistent with their offense, he's added an extra layer to this rather lengthy lineup that the Mets now have. So this is not really much of a of a rumor to be honest with you. And I would mention this Chaz Chisholm. I'd stay away from him. This goes for any team. Stay away from that guy. If you trade for him, you're getting a guy who's sort of he, he's a little overrated in my opinion. Overrated. Luis Robert Jr. I haven't seen enough of him to give you my opinion, but Chaz Chisholm. Yeah, he's an infielder playing the outfield. Now, he's gotten better in the outfield, but he's very overrated. Extremely overrated. That's my opinion. You tell me what you think in the comments section. But thank you for watching this video. And of course, please subscribe to Baseball Hut 2, and I'll see you later.